In this video, we're going to take a look at my top five picks for Space Wolves. Thanks to Games Workshop for sending the index cards through so I can make this video. And of course, starting at the top, Logan Grimnar. I've chosen him on Storm Rider with toughness six, 12 wounds and a four up and vulnerable save. He's going to be very hard to shift and he can lead units. The only unit he can lead, however, is Thunderwolf Cavalry. But yeah, loads of attacks. The Axe of Morkai one handed, 10 attacks. If he wants to kill Horde at strength 6, minus 2, 1 damage. Or the Axe of Morkai, two-handed, six attacks at strength 8, minus 2, 3 damage. Killing Terminators there. Potentially up to six of them. Probably three of them. Um, he's very, very tough. Lots of wounds. And he has the High King of Fenris rule. Once per battle, your entire army can re-roll charges. And in that turn, your entire army re-rolls melee attacks in your charge phase this model can use this ability if it does until the end of the turn re-roll charges and until the end of the turn each time you make a melee attack re-roll the hit roll re-roll hit rolls re-roll charges army wide once per battle to be fair he doesn't need to be on storm rider to have this ability it is his flat standard uh, ability but I've chosen him on Storm Rider because tucked in a unit of Thunder Cav, he's not going anytime soon. And every time he destroys an enemy unit, you gain a CP. Next up, we're going to take a look at Ragnar Blackmane, the new kid on the block. He can lead Wolfguard, Blood Cores, Grey Hunters, Assault Intercessor Squads, Blade Guard Veteran Squad, and Intercessor Squads. He can lead a lot of different units. And Warhowl is his crowning achievement. While this model is leading in a unit, that unit is eligible to declare a charge in which it advanced. So Ragnar Blackmane, stick him in a unit, you've got advance and charge. What's not to love about that? It's a very strong, very powerful ability. And he's an absolute beat stick. Frostfang has sustained hits one, so sixes explode. And he has eight attacks, so he's going to roll some of those sixes. At strength six, minus three, two damage. And each time this model ends a charge move until the end of the turn, add two to his attacks and two to his strengths. So on the charge, after advancing and charging, he's hitting with ten attacks. At strength eight, minus three, two damage. Uh, I've mainly picked him for the advance and charge, but he's an absolute nutter on his own. Blood Claws. I wanted to highlight Blood Claws on their own because they're good now. Didn't they used to hit on fours? Well, now they hit on threes and a Berserk Charge each time this unit makes a charge move until the end of the turn. Add one to the attacks and the strength characteristics of melee weapons equipped by models in this unit. So hitting on threes is good. Extra attacks is good. That'll be four attacks with the Starties Chainswords on the charge. Strength five, minus one, two damage. Or with Power Fists, that's three attacks. When they go flying in there on the charge at strength nine. Uh, but they're good. Uh, normally Blood Claws were hanging around at the back, not doing very much. But now they might actually be able to influence the battle with an objective control of two as well. They're good for taking objectives, they're good for holding objectives, and the young kids on the block, uh, well, they've had a bit of an upgrade. Unless I've got that completely wrong, I'm sure they hit on fours before. Of course, only the Blood Claws pack leader can take a power fist or power weapon, but up to two Blood Claws can have flamers, grav guns, melter guns, plasma guns, so you can tool them up pretty effectively. Next up, I wanted to highlight Wolfen, not necessarily because it's one of my top five picks, but because I know that people would probably want to know what Wolfen do. And they're not as good as they used to be. They can still fight on death on a four plus. Death Frenzy, each time a model in this unit is destroyed by a melee attack, if that model has not fought this phase, roll 1d6 and on a four plus, do not remove it from play. That destroyed model can fight after the attack and model unit has finished making its attacks, and then it's removed from play. Didn't you need, didn't they fight on death automatically before? And now it's a 50-50 chance. Is that a nerf? Or was it always a 50, ch 50 chance? Please, someone let me know in the comment section below. And their melee weapons, their melee weapons aren't as good anymore. They have six attacks, a strength five, minus one, one damage. 
And if you give one a, a hammer and a shield, so basically if you take storm shields, they've got wolf and hammers and shields, then it's four attacks, a strength five, minus one, one damage. So not as killy as they used to be. All the weapons have got the same strength, AP and damage profile for simplicity's sake. Um, yeah, but at least they fight on death, I guess. Objective control of zero, however. Then Thunderwolf Cavalry. Uh, yeah, same deal. Not necessarily a top five pick, but um, people will want to know because they're such an iconic unit for the Space Wolves. They are toughness six with four wounds now. And if you give them a Storm Shield, that's a four plus in Vulnerable Save. So toughness six with four wounds and a four up in Vulnerable Save means they're not going away anytime soon. But they've got the same strength, AP, and damage profile as Wolfen, as in strength 5, minus 1, 1 damage. Uh, they get extra attacks, so 4 attacks with their heirloom weapons hitting on 3s. And then the mounts themselves have an extra 3 attacks, but they only hit on 4s. They do have Ferocious Charge, however. Each time this unit makes a charge move until the end of the turn, add one to the damage characteristics of melee weapons equipped by this unit. So those strength five minus one damage one attacks could become damage two attacks. And of course, as I said at the start, you can put Santa on his sleigh in with this unit as well. And that will make them a particularly beat sticky type unit. Uh, they come in units of three or six with Logan Grimnar in there. You might be able to get some utility out of these guys, but they really need to charge to get their damage up to two. Overall, I feel like the Space Wolves haven't got as much love as the Grey Knights or the Blood Angels or the Dark Angels. Some of the other codexes have, but then maybe I'm missing something. I'm not a Space Wolves player and I don't go up against them as much. I'm not a Blood Angels player either, but I go up against Blood Angels quite regularly uh, if you guys have seen anything from any of the leaks that uh, really shines a light on some of the space wolf units i'd very much like to hear it in the comment section below so uh thanks for listening to this video hope you find it useful happy wargaming